And we're back. Uh, yeah, last week, April 21st, we lost the legendary Prince Rogers Nelson, born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We lost him seven years ago last week. So we had to do a tribute to the man in purple who brought us so much creativity, talent, music, film, and every damn thing else. Um, speaking of another creative... All the way from the BX. Make sure your mic is properly. Well, I shouldn't have to tell you because you're a radio host. You One, know how two. to hold the mic. <laughs> we got G Waters in the building. Welcome back to the Carrie's Corner Radio Show. What's up, brother. what's up? What's up, Gary? So listen, first of all, you celebrated a birthday. Yes, yes. Big recently. Be, 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 be proud to be an Aries, brother. I'm very proud to be of an Aries. Of course you no are. Other, no other sign I would want to be. <laughs> you ain't got a choice. I mean, I mean, after seeing what's out there, I, you know, I wouldn't want to choose anything else. <laughs> anyway. But salute welcome, to everybody. Welcome back to the show. Um, first of all, uh, you're the host of your own radio show. And oh, have yes. been... For quite some time, talk to us about your about your show. Um, yes, my show is called Solar Streets, and I support um, the the I feel the hottest and dopest hip hop and R and B artists. Absolutely, that's out here on the grind. Absolutely, um, you know, we're just trying to create platforms to support independent music and music that's no longer independent but independent. However it goes, you know, if right. it catches my ear and it's something I can rock with. I support it. So you're here on a different, not 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 a different mission, but a different mission. Because see, the thing is, you're always, you've always been, you've always been not only the soul of the streets, but you've been the ear to the streets. Like you definitely have provided a platform for some really underground artists who would not otherwise have a platform. But on your birthday, yes, this past April twelfth. You handed me, well, it didn't hand it to me, but you gave me a track. And I'm gonna keep it honest, like I do every week for the past ten years. You and me, we go back. We go way back. We go way back in the time, right? Um, you handed me a track. You said, Carrie, this is a new song that I'm putting out on my birthday, written and produced by myself. And I've known you for a while. You are hilarious. We have had conversations where it's jokes and laughs all day long. But I didn't know if I should be laughing when you handed me that song because I was like, I don't. You thought that was gonna add to the laughter? I did. You didn't know what I, level I, I, of laughter I, I, I you was gonna I love you, brother. I love you to death, brother. But I thought it was gonna be like kind of fizzy, fizzy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why would he's a radio host? Why would he want to make a song? I ain't never heard that brother rap in my life. And then I asked you the magic question. I said, Is it clean? He's like, Hey, man, I'm an OG. I'm an OG. Of course, it's clean. clean. I know who I'm sending I'm like, it to. Okay, so. What the hell is he going to be talking about? I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play it. I'm not going to really listen what to it. What did you think it was going to be like? Garbage hip hop from like. I thought you was going to be one. Because you're older than me, all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I I don't know. I just. I, mean, I don't like a lot of the new stuff, but I don't like. A, I don't. When the, when the old artists try to make new music, that don't work for me either. I don't really like that at all either. Because usually they got that stupid sound effect that sounds like a broken sprinkler, and they're trying to sound like these cornier artists. To, to, to maintain their relevance So that's what I thought I was going to hear So I was like you know what I'm not I'm not going to Jeez my man I'm not going to listen to it We're just going to going to take it to the radio station It's going to be what it's going to be So I let DJ Justin Tom listen to it first Because he makes all of our Our um, our, 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 our mixes mm -hmm. He's like Carrie the song's pretty dope And I'm like really? Okay But I still want to be surprised When we came into the studio I think it was last week mm -hmm. And Andre Jones played that record I was like who is that? Oh, so he didn't know it was me when he no. played it? No. Okay, I was like, like, wait a minute. What? Is that singing? Like, wait. <laughs> Where did all of that come from? So what, what What made you decide to put out this music? Because this is obviously probably the first time you've put out a track. Yeah, it's the first time I ever put anything wow. out. So, okay. uh, Damn. Uh, I was like, you know, I've been supporting so many artists. And, and, and um, I was like, at the end of the day, at this, at this age that I, became, I was becoming... <laughs> Right, <laughs> that was becoming. <laughs> that was becoming. I was like, out of all the things that I haven't done, like, what was the thing? What would be the thing that I would want to do if right. I had to, or if I was to, um, if I was to die? Right. Well, we don't. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or, or when I die? Right. What would I want to be remembered for? For. And I was like, out of all the things that I've never done, uh -huh. I've never put out my own song. So I was like, um, for my birthday, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop my, drop my song. Okay. This is so. So no how long, how long ago was this? This didn't happen overnight, though. 
Mm -hmm. Couldn't have. You didn't just write the song and and put it no. I wrote the song overnight, put it out. No, you didn't. And, and here we are. Right. Okay. DTF Radio with Kerry yeah. Corners Radio. Did you have show. to say the name of the network when we're syndicated? Oh shoot. My yeah. Bad. See, look at this. Uh, yeah. But you're in the DTF studio <laughs> right now. Anyway, um, so I mean, what do you? What's next? We're gonna hear the song. What's next? Yeah, what's, uh, what you gonna do with you it? You know what's next? I'm having fun. Like I'm okay. just still doing my shows. Are you, you gonna know? perform it? I did. A, I performed. I haven't performed the song yet. Okay. But um, I hosted um the Sugar Bar. Okay. And I performed there. Okay. All right. Okay. Well. well. So, so it's coming. It's coming. I'm taking. I'm taking it slow. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm taking it slow. But the fact that I dropped it. Yeah. It's most important. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're gonna do now here on the Carrie's Corner Radio Show, we do it's called Carrie's uh, Critique, and we're gonna listen to the song. We're gonna go around the room. Although we, we heard it last week. We played it in the New Jack segment, but this, we didn't get a chance to really critique it, critique it. Oh, my God. Paul wasn't here, and um, we didn't get his... Uh, Who's un- the worst un- critiquer un- in the room? The worst? Whose phone is that? Please make sure your phone is on silent. Who's? I don't want to say worst, but the, who's, who's who the most... The, who gives the, the heart, most... Who's the most? The, Mr. Cox, in my opinion. He gives it the most... He's the most critical. It's, it's hardest to impress him. And um, that's just, just my opinion, and he's probably going to concur with that anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to listen to the song. It's called The One, and we're going to go around the room afterwards. We're going to let everybody in the room oh my God. give you a piece here on the Carrie's Corner Radio Show. Let's go. I'm going to keep this real brief. Yeah, so my next R&B mix, absolutely. That's all I need to say. All right, absolutely. all right, all right. Well, absolutely what? What does that mean? That means it's... Definitely going in. Okay. Oh my goodness. The okay. one is the one is the one. That, that's the one, man. Okay. All right. All right. We appreciate you. So much, right. Thank you. Gordon, what do you think about the song "The One"? And don't feel like you have to be nice because he he's from the Bronx and you're from Yonkers. <laughs> uh, I thought it was. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty dope. I like the beat. It's got this kind of like late '90s throwback vibe. Yeah. I mean, you know, I like that. I. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I dug it, man. I, I don't want to ramble too long, but. Yes. I'm glad you dug it. I'm glad you dug it. Paul, what do you think? Uh-oh. I loved it. I know Carrie says, like, oh, I always say it, but honestly, your voice was great, and I love the melody. It's super catchy. I think it's going to just be stuck in my head all week. So I got to know, is it streaming on yes. all platforms? Yes, sir. Yes, awesome. Sir. So I'm going to be listening to that. And Thank you so much. The one, right? The one. The one. That song is the one. I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey. So so you, you you went from kind Paul to 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 critique Cox, brother Michael Catlow Cox. How are everybody doing today? Used to be a DJ himself. I don't know Still how I'm doing yet. I don't know. <laughs> I what do you think? This. The melody is on point. Melody is on point. Mm-hmm. And I'm just thankful you didn't rap because that kind of song doesn't need rap. It needs the melody to it, and your voice fit the melody. So thank you. Thank you. On thank point. you. Oh wow! Wow. I appreciate all the love, man. I appreciate it. Keep on. Very inspiring. It's very inspire- inspiring. Keep on. What, what, are, what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah. Very much so. This song gives me that old school vibe. Like uh-huh. I'm in the maybe, maybe like my childhood, early 2000s, that sort of vibe. Where like I feel like we're at a cookout, we're having a good vibe, and people are just, you got the uncles just swaying from side to side. So this this could like, be an uncle, uh, uncle anthem, uncle auntie very anthem. Possibly. It's very much so the uncle anthem is what I see That's the what uncle with the about. cup in his hand swaying side to side on the dance floor, <laughs> not doing anything special, but it's having a great time, and that's that's the life of the party. I had so a great time it. making it, and I'm just glad that um, it's getting this chance to get it to be <laughs> out and get some feedback. Yeah, we're not finished with the feedback, oh, brother. Yeah, I'm showing. Sure so, well, you know, Janet's stuff. coming in town too. So that has nothing to do with your song. <laughs> Um, I, 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 the vocals, I thought, um, perhaps mirrored Omarion. For some reason, I got Omarion okay. uh, vibe from that. Um, I seriously couldn't believe it was you. Not no shade, but I mean the the, the melody's no great. Shade? No shade. No, no shade. The melody is dope. The music is hot. Of course, I'm a person that likes old school music, so it has that old school flair. But I feel like. Um, it's it's got a it, it could have it, it it could have come out even in the in the late eighties, mm-hmm. I think. Um, I don't know who did the production. Did you do the production? Um, producer Darren Wington. Okay, he, so shut up. He's dope. He's uh yeah, he's done like Donnell Jones. He did um knocks okay. me off my feet for Donnell Jones. Sounds like yes, yes. He did uh some Brownstone. Okay. Some Tony Braxton, some Elias. 
So you had some. You you had a heavy hitter oh, in yeah, the studio yeah. when you. Okay, you wasn't playing. Yeah, yeah, I, we, we was working, and it paid off. What inspired you to make this particular song? Are you in love? Yeah, I was in love. Was, I was in love. Uh, was? You know, you know was, okay. things happen. Things, things happen. happen. Yeah, you ain't gotta tell and, me. Uh, you know. I'm still the one, but I'm not her one. Okay. So, you know, but I'm still the one. That. You're the one. That's I'm a, outside. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, I know you do the uh, the sugar bar every, what, Thursdays? They do it every Thursday, but um, I did it last, like, two Thursdays ago. So, okay. uh, hopefully I'll be back. What was the response? Because that's your home base. Mm-hmm. Um, Ashford and Simpson's uh, sugar bar on the west side of Manhattan. What was the response? What kind of response did you get? Um, from what the, the song for, yes oh the song i've been, been getting a lot of great response yeah, from, yeah. from everybody so yeah. far um yeah valerie everybody loved it um the sugar bars family sugar yeah. bars home it's a lot of great talent there so Absolutely. it's like you know i'm glad to be able to be a part of that. music yeah. with everybody else now you know let everybody know how they can listen to your show you can listen to my show soul of the streets every um saturday and sunday saturday i do hip-hop and Sunday I do R&B, where I play uh, my song, The One, of course. And um, at 8 o'clock, um, Saturdays, it's on DL- it's on um, Apple Music and iHeartRadio and all that stuff. And uh, on Sundays, I do R&B at 8 o'clock as well. So you just stream it and um, follow the podcast. And here's some of this hot fire that we that's out here in these streets. It's a lot of it. It's a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it. And I'm just glad to be able to be a part, like Carrie, sharing this great talent that's out here yeah man i mean we had to you you family so i definitely had to to support brother but the fact of the matter is the song is dope and and uh, and i see it having some traction so make sure you get it out there we're gonna play it andre is whistling it and we can hear it through the microphone <laughs> um yeah we're definitely gonna play it here on the carries Radio show thank All right, you we, for the support thank you for being a part of uh music and thank you for, I'm so thankful that I'm here to, um, to be a part of the 10-year anniversary of hey, your show. Yes. You know, it's such a thank great you. lineup that you have. Thank Shouts you to very Karen much. and everybody that's on the show. I want to be the one who loves you, not just for one night. One night. I need a man who's there to hold you. Can I be that in your life?